So I was an odd child. I grew up going to public school in the corn-fed, God-fearing Midwest as a vegetarian, atheist, computer coder who wore outfits like this and this on a regular basis. When I was a teenager, I finally found my people. A dearly loved VHS tape of Velvet Goldmine introduced me to a gender-bending alien named Ziggy Stardust and the power of glam rock. And since then, I've tried to add that dash of glitter into everything in my life, including leading a very large bike ride every year called Bowie vs. Prince. I named it before they were both dead, I swear. It's been around for nine years. I didn't kill them. And when I quit my high-powered political job in order to teach personal finance, I started to think, how do I add a dash of glitter to this? What would Ziggy Stardust do? If David Bowie was a CPA, what exactly would he teach? And, you know, there's so much overwhelm that goes into 401ks and IRAs and even just looking at your checking account. And I was like, how do I add Sparkle to that and help people deal with that? Did you know that David Bowie actually issued his own bonds? The man actually packaged up his entire catalog of music, put 8.7% interest on it, repaid them over 10 years, and that means that David Bowie has bonds that are actually more valuable than the entire country of Greece. So you got to think about what that means. That means you need to save up your FU fund. And what is your FU fund? That means that you can walk away from a terrible job. That means you can take parental leave if you want. It means you can dress like a gay pirate in the 1970s who has really tiny glasses. It means you've got the glam rock going on. There's so much power in kind of making your personal finance be based on you. Glam rock money is about you do you. Someone else's money plan isn't gonna work for you if it's not based on your values and your goals. If you want to spend all your money on platform boots and mullet trims, that's okay. And you also got to accept that there's chicha changes. You know, just because you were rocking it when you were 20 doesn't mean you can rock it in your 50s. And that goes for your money just as well as it goes for the rest of your life. But that means you have to have a plan. If you don't have a plan for your money, you're just flying blind. You actually have to sit down and think about what you want. I see so many students who don't want to look at their checking account, who refuse to open mail from their bank, and you know what happens? They don't have a plan, and then they have too much month at the end of their money. David Bowie says you need a plan. I swear you do. And one of the things about having a plan is that it really helps you wrap your head around what are, where are you at in your life. And I know that 401k allocation sounds like literally the scariest sentence in the world, but I'm going to break it down for you. This is based on David Bowie's outfits, okay? So you gotta think about what stage of your vesting life you're in. You're either in the wealth building stage, which is the wide pants legs, weird forehead circle situation stage. This is your high risk, high reward. You want more stocks in your portfolio. It's early on, you can take some chances, even if maybe they didn't all totally work out. And then later in your career, you wanna go into the wealth preserving stage. You want more bonds, you want lower risk, high security, this is a well-tailored suit and cufflinks, all right? This is later in your career, you're getting close to retirement. It'll get you to the finish line. It's not gonna get you into any beautiful fashion museums. And I need you to remember, individual stocks, don't pick them. The Goblin King runs the labyrinth. Even people who get paid to pick individual stocks rarely beat the market. You might lose your baby if you try to beat the Goblin King. Americans have the worst savings rate of any country in the world. That means we're the richest nat nation on the earth, but we work longer hours for more years of our lives. Please save. It's glam rock to save. And please, think about the privilege that you have just being able to be in this room. Make philanthropy part of your plan. If you want to do it however you want to do it, start a foundation for people with pink sparkly unitards to give them out to schoolboys. that's cool, but do it your way. And lastly, you're not immortal. David Bowie wasn't. He spent an entire year planning a platinum album to release after his death. All you have to do is go online and print out a will from the internet. It's that easy. You don't have to be Bowie. Even rock stars aren't immortal. And with that, my time is out. I'm Lillian. I like to talk about money and David Bowie costumes. You can find me at ohmydollar.com or on X-Ray FM, uh, Oh My Dollar on Wednesday mornings.